All right, welcome back. This is Zorno OS 10, the ultimate edition. Now, this one here is not free. This one runs about, I uh, believe it's about 10 euros. They offer a free one. If you are completely new to the world of Linux, I think I would recommend this one, and I will explain why in a moment. But this is the default desktop here. Nice wallpaper here on the desktop. I moved the panel from the bottom to the top, and I shrank it. I think this looks a little better on my big screen TV. All right, briefly, let's go ahead and scroll through this. I hooked up or installed the weather applet. By default, it goes to looks like Amsterdam, Netherlands, 22 degrees Celsius, and converted to Fahrenheit. I believe that's warm. Okay, we have power. Let's go to Zorn OS Help. Let's see what that looks like. All right, looks like the Zorn Help Forum. Of course, time and date. Oops, there we go. By the way, this runs uh, very, very zippy um, sound settings here. I did not install this, by the way. You have the install shortcut here, running this off a live USB stick. It actually runs pretty good, so very impressed. If you have played around with Ubuntu-based uh, Linux operating systems before, you've seen this before, so this should be very, very easy to use for beginners. If this looks like Windows, it's for a reason. It's to make you feel comfortable coming from a Windows environment. Okay, Gary Mail. Kazam screen recorder is installed by default. My keyboard here is probably uh, Geary. Yep, Gmail. Okay, let's go here. The file manager, by the way, I do like the default colors and fonts. Very easy to look at or very pleasing to look at. Once again, this is meant to uh, resemble Windows to make you feel comfortable. Keep in mind, this is Linux. It is not Windows. Okay, Firefox is installed by default. All right, very nice default search for Google Zorin. Of course, your shortcuts here. Again, I've chosen not to install this for testing. It's not necessary. It runs pretty good. The Z menu, Zorin menu. Okay, this is uh, something that might resemble Windows 7. If you thought that, you would be correct. Now, this is loaded. This is the ultimate edition. You have your shortcuts here. And it's something you may have seen before. Many, many pieces of applications here. I won't go through all of these. Let's go to Games. Graphics. The GIMP, very good. Office. LibreOffice, of course. Well, what do we have? Internet, I skipped over. The Zorn Web Browser Manager. I guess you can choose your default web browser. I'll leave it the way it is. Go back to Zorin here. All right, sound and video, many, many, many choices here. I do not use all of these. After so many years of playing with Linux, I have my favorites. For example, Audacity I use, uh, Handbrake I use, Kazam I use, Kden Live I use. Media Player, I use various versions. MeTV, Miro, Mix, I don't use that. I don't use OpenShot. Rhythmbox I use, Transmageddon, haven't used that in a while, of course, VLC I use, Media Player, and Zine Media Player I don't use. Now for some of us who are a little bit more, you know, experienced and advanced, some of these applications may be a bit uh, overkill or redundant, and we tend to pick and choose the ones that we like, but really, if you are a beginner, how do you know which ones you'd want to keep. I think it's a matter of convenience to have all of these installed by default and then pick and choose the ones that you like. That's my reasoning for you to go with the Ultimate Edition. Now, of course, you can download the core one and then download these one by one by one. That's a bit time consuming. Again, for 10 euros, I don't think you can go wrong. All right, System Tools. Well, let's go to System Monitor. All right, let's go to resources, 600 megabytes of RAM out of about 4 gig and 83% CPU on the first, 29 on the second on a dual core machine. Okay, not bad. Let's go to system tools again. The look changer, the splash screen manager and the theme manager. We'll go back to that in a second. We have universal access, wine, this will help you attempt to at least play some of your Windows applications in Zorin Linux, the Software Center.
this will come in very very handy for you to pick and choose software pieces of software to install and or remove now this is not the only way to install software but for beginners I would say probably yeah, this is probably the easiest way to do it you have your categories here to the left all right let's go back to system tools let's go to the look changer well you have some choices here Windows 7 XP Windows 2000 Unity Mac OS and GNOME 2 well let's see we know what the default desktop looks let's try the old GNOME 2 alright well there you have it the old GNOME 2 look that you have seen before some of us have seen with the pre Ubuntu Unity days. All right, so far this is looking pretty darn good. Again, running this off a live USB stick, I don't have any issues so far running uh, something like this. Everything seems to work pretty good. All right, well, this is my quick look at Zorin 10, the Ultimate Edition. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Once again, if you are a complete beginner, absolute beginner, take a look at Zorin OS, one of my favorites really for the last five years. And definitely take a look at the Ultimate Edition. I think it'll be well worth the uh, small money to pay for something like this. Let me know if you guys download and try it. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I didn't take a look at the wallpapers, did I? Anyway, many choices here, so enjoy your technology, be safe, and please don't text and drive. Take care.